I think what I should start by saying is that this is something that USAID is really just beginning to focus on. It is about to roll out a new um, endeavor that will be um, a priority for the agency in Africa. Maybe it's one of its most important priorities and in, in the energy field. And, and I think that what the way that it looks at power uh, in sub-Saharan Africa is that the kinds of problems that have been discussed today reflect a system that doesn't really operate properly yet and really has to de develop. And the project funding, financing, project preparation is related to that. In other words, there is capital, private capital out there that does want to come in to financing um, energy, but the enabling environment is sufficiently difficult and things take so, such a long time that the project preparation portion of it is sort of the least, is the most risky, as it would be in any place, but as Gad said, particularly risky under these circumstances. And because, as Gad said, this is a both what was being, when one engages in this way, it's, you're creating both a public good and a private, a private return. I think people have to get comfortable, at least at this sta these stages, with the fact that this is going to have to require both concessionary financing and commercial financing, and that right. those, those combinations are fine right. and maybe the right way to do it. Um, and the question is then what are the sources of that, of that kind of capital? And I think they are going to be varied. Uh, we, there was reference um, earlier in the day to sovereign wealth funds. There's also been reference to pension funds. I think it's very difficult to think about pension funds investing in this category of investment. It's really fiduciary, fiduciarily un, un, um, difficult for, the, for them and probably improper for them to take that kind of risk unless it was done through a vehicle, the sort that Gads just suggested. And, and I'm not sure how that would work. Um, on the other hand, sovereign wealth um, funds do are, are investing for should be investing for the public good to some extent as well as for financial return and so maybe they belong in this sector um, to the extent that they they exist um, I think what, specifically what USAID is going to do is one of the things it's going to do is to try to accelerate specific priority transactions that are deemed to be priority for different reasons to be able to to a get more power into available power in, to populations and to businesses in five key countries, Ethiopia, um, Kenya, Tanzania, uh, Nigeria, and Ghana, but also to create a track record of the sort that you're talking about, where, there, where it is proven that where, where private investors have already expressed an interest in participating, they've, perhaps they've already participated, and get the transactions done, get them running, get them functional, and create the kind of track record that's necessary. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.